Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify given number is sunny number or not. If you want to write this program, first you should know what is a sunny number. First let me define what is a sunny number. Sunny number is a number. Sunny number is a number for which its immediate its immediate number is perfect square. If its immediate number is perfect square, then we can say that the given number is sunny number. Suppose let's take that the given number n is equal to 3. What is the immediate number of the 3? The immediate integer will be 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. Now look at here. Is 4 is a perfect square or not? 4 can be represented as 2 into 2. So I can say that 4 is a perfect square. Similarly, if I take n is equal to 7. If I take the n value as 7, what is the immediate number of the 7? 7 plus a 1 is equal to 8. Is 8 is a perfect square? No, 8 is not a perfect square because you cannot represent 2 into 2 or 3 into 3 because 2 into 2 is 4 which is less than 8 3 into 3 is 9 which is greater than 8 so I cannot say that 8 is a perfect square so I can say 7 is not a sunny number similarly if I take n is equal to 8 what is the immediate number of the 8 is 9 9 can be represented as 3 into 3 so as 9 is a perfect square I can say that 8 is a sunny number I hope you have understood what is a sunny number a given number is a sunny number for which its immediate number is perfect square now we will write the program first we will ask the user to enter the number now let me write n is equal to int of input of enter the number okay you know that input function will be useful for you to read the input from the user however the input function will return everything in the form of a string but you want to convert the number into an integer only so that's why you are doing the type casting with the help of int function now what I want to do I want to compute the immediate number so I will write x is equal to n plus 1 then I will take some variable flag is equal to 0 I will write for because now I want to find whether x is a perfect square or not I will use the for loop for i in range 1 comma x okay and then I will write if i into i is equal to is equal to x then i can say that it is a perfect number then i will make flag is equal to 1 and i will break now i will write if flag is equal to is equal to 1 print n is a sunny number n is a sunny number else else means if flag is equal to 0 then I can say that n is not a sunny number is not a sunny number now what we will do is that we will run this program okay if I run the program let me give the input as 3 theoretically just now we have verified that 3 is a sunny number look at it we got the output as 3 is sunny number because its immediate number is 4 and 4 is a perfect square. Similarly, I will take 7. Okay, 7 is not a sunny number because its immediate number 8 is not a perfect square. Look at here, we got the output as 7 is not a sunny number. Similarly, what I will do is that I will take the input as 15. What is the immediate number? 16. 16 is a perfect square because 16 can be represented as 4 into 4. So I got the 15 is a sunny number. So what we will do is that we will trace the program by taking the n value is equal to 3. See we got the 3 is a sunny number. So as the user has entered the input as 3, it will be stored in the variable called n. So n is equal to 3. If n is equal to 3, x is equal to n plus 1, which is 3 plus 1. So x will have the value 4. And initially flag is equal to 0. 
and then you have written for i in range 1 comma x range will have three values one is the start value here the user has provided the start value is 1 and then we will have the stop value which is x what is the x value 4 and what is the step value user has not provided in that case the default value 1 will be considered then i will have the start value which is 1 and then you will verify the condition is i is less than stop or not what is the i value 1 what is the stop value 4 is 1 is less than 4 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there inside the for loop will be executed what is the first statement if condition so what is the condition i into i what is the i value 1 1 into 1 is equal to equal to x or not what is the x value 4 so what is the 1 into 1 is 1 is 1 is equal to equal to 4 no the condition is false if the if condition is false the statements which are there in the if block will not be executed after the if there are no statements then the statements which are there in the for loop has been done so then what you will do you will go for the iteration i value is 1 and step value is 1 so i value will become 1 because you have to increment the i value by the step value already i value is 1 now the step value is 1 so i is equal to i plus step which is 1 plus 1 so i will get the value 2 now you will verify the condition is i is less than stop or not what is the i value 2 is 2 is less than 4 yes the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the first statement if condition what is the condition i into i what is the i value now 2 and i value 2 so 2 into 2 is equal to is equal to 4 or not you need to verify 2 into 2 is equal to 4 so 4 is equal to 4 so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed so flag is equal to 1 initially flag was 0 now flag is becoming 1 and break what is the use of the break to come out from the loop because once you found that x is a perfect square you no need to run till the condition becomes false in the for loop so i can stop here so the break statement is useful for you to come out from the loop once you come out from the loop the next statement is this if condition what is the condition flag is equal to is equal to 1 or not you need to verify what is the flag value currently now 1 so 1 is equal to 1 the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block will be executed what is the statement print n what is the n value 3 so 3 is a sunny number so this is the output we got I hope you have understood. If you still have any doubts related to this program, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.